hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again thanks so much for clicking on this video so if you're new here kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you're old here thanks so much for coming back again so today i'm going to share with you a, a work that i did for a client some time ago and it's a graduation ceremony envelope and i'm going to show you how to design that in photoshop so without further ado let's get into the video okay so here in photoshop you go to file the new and then you select the international paper the size you're going to choose the tl because that is what i use for envelopes and then you click ok you go to image and then you go to image rotation and you rotate it 90 degrees clockwise now this is the envelope this is the size of the envelope that you're going to fill with all the information given i'm going to be using the information that was given to me and probably the colors that i chose for them so first i'm going to start with selecting my rectangle to drawing a rectangle a nice one at that and then i'll make sure that i have it at the very edges of the rectangle and then i'll change the color to something like okay so i'll click ok and then i'll make sure that i have this in the center just in the center of the document so i'll press ctrl a to select it all that is the all of the rectangle and then i'll center it both vertical and then horizontal so i have it like this and then i'll make a duplicate of this same rectangle so i press ctrl j to make a duplicate and then i press ctrl t to resize it more like this something like this that will depend on how you want it so i'll change the color back to white and then i'll click ok now we're going to fill this with the rest of the test like the test some designs okay so let's select the rectangle tool again and make sure that we have a nice rectangle again over here and then the color probably will be so there are a couple of ways of doing this you can just rasterize and cut off that area but i chose to go this way so let me push this one up or open it smaller like this so we have this design ready and then we can fill this whole thing with some tests so let's see how we do it first i'm going to bring in this graduation hat is it called graduation hat yeah uh, let me know in the comment section if it is called graduation hat because i don't know his name yeah so i'll place this particular hat over here and then i'm going to fill this side with a name and then some stuff right so i'll select the test to go over here and then i'm going to write graduation and then i'm going to change the test the color of the test to this particular um color so we're probably using just these two colors and some maybe black that is the colors that i'll be those are the colors that i'll be using so i'll position it somewhere over here and then let me try to stylize this more by changing it to um let's say bold italic yeah okay so i have it over here and then i'm going to duplicate that because i don't want to be picking the test tool and be writing so much so i'm going to write in global or in bible church bible college that is the name of the college so i'm going to choose hevetica is the right because i want this to be bold and i'm going to change the color to black like i said earlier i'm going to make use of only three colors white violet and then black okay so i'll position it somewhere very nice over here and then under this one let me add some three things to this okay so under the bible college i'm going to um, duplicate the graduation test like that i'll select it and then press ctrl j to duplicate it bring it over here and then i'm going to change this one to italic that is the non-bold one and I'm going to write something over there. So I'll select or I will take over here and then I transform it 
to make it feel like to fit to that of the globe uh, or the aim bible college i'm saying global because i just did one for global bible college that's why i'm repeating global global just don't mind me so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to duplicate this particular aim bible college by pressing control here and i'll bring it over here i'm going to change the color of this font to white and i'm going to write um graduation ceremony so it's graduation ceremony i decided to leave it here because it was all part of the design so the design that i sketched so i'll right click on it and go to blending of shading and then i'm going to add bevel and emboss to it probably i'm going to decrease it to three and then i'll click ok now i'm going to duplicate this one also and i'm going to change the color to white because it is graduation ceremony and fundraising so i take my time to position it and then i'm going to write and fund raising so that's it and i'm going to increase that one a little bit okay okay so actually i'm going to extend this one a little bit like this okay and then duplicate it and change the color to white because i want something small like that that will separate the two so i'm going to change the color to white and bring it over here like this so it has to fit to the edges also so i'll just make sure that i select over here and drag it that's cool and then i'm going to do the same thing to this side and then i'll drag it and i think this is perfect all right so next you're going to add another test so we select the test over here the test tool and then we're going to write the name of the person and that color also will be in black and the fonts i'm going to use the times new roman and then i'll make sure that it is left aligned right so the name and then you hit on the underscore so many times to create this particular thing for you Okay, so afterwards, I'm going to select it all and then increase or open it up from here. Open it small like this. And then I'm going to transform it a little more and bring it over here. So it's very nice like that. And what I'm going to do next is duplicate the aim global over here. Bring it down. Basically, you can just be using different uh test layers but i just like to duplicate it because i don't want to stress myself so i'm going to put the theme over here and the theme says that give and it shall be given unto you and that is luke 638 Okay, so afterwards you just transform it to make it fit over here. And then you, you find a place to position it very nicely. So I'm going to bold in this one. That is the date. Okay, so I'll choose the bold over here. So that it will be very realistic and everybody can see it. All right. And then I'm going to decrease the length of this one and that one to this side i think that's cool all right so the final thing that we're going to do is we're going to select the rectangle or let's say the rounded rectangle and then we're going to create a nice rounded rectangle over here and then we're going to bring the fill to zero 
percent right click and go to blending options stroke and then i'm going to change the color to this violet and then okay now we're going to add another test to it so you can choose to duplicate this one we duplicate this and then we bring it over here and then we're going to type in the venue okay so after typing all this i'm going to just bold in it bold in this one and then i'll bold in that of the time to make it very more specific and then i'll bold in the rsvp also let me go here and rsvp mind it i'm using my own number because i can be i can use the ad number so i'll try and open this one up some more okay so i think i would have to decrease it like this okay and then i'll put it inside the rounded rectangle and that's it that's the end of the design and this is how i designed that for my clients and i hope you learned something new from this video please if you learned something new kindly let me know in the description and how this design or how this video helped you and thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and then i'll get back to you with another video it's innocent here bye